Hey there, in this video, I'm going to use LT Spice to determine the current in this circuit, as well as the voltage across the two devices. Then I'm going to compare the results to a solution I did by hand in another video. I should also note that this example comes from this online textbook, and you can find the link in the description. To do this simulation, I'm going to do an AC sweep, but only do it at a single frequency of 60 Hertz. And there does seem to be some limitation with LT Spice with the print directive, but I'll show you what that limitation is, as well as a workaround. All right, let's jump over to LT Spice to build and simulate this circuit. I want to know what those voltages and currents are. Right, let's start putting this circuit together. I need a voltage source. I'll configure the voltage source in a sec, but let's drop the other components first. Don't forget that reference point. Okay, so for the configuration of the voltage source, we need to go into advanced. And then we need to go into the small signal analysis here and set the AC amplitude to 10. We actually don't need to set it up as a sine wave over here because we are doing an AC sweep. I just need to run the spikes directive. So I'm gonna do dot AC. And if you don't remember the parameters that you need, you can just type in dot AC for that type of analysis and then go into it again, and it's going to show you the parameters that you can set up. So we've got the type of sweep we're going to do. Let's just do a linear sweep. We are only going to do one point with a start frequency of 60 hertz and an end frequency of 60 hertz, because we only want to do this analysis at 60 hertz. Now I want to put some labels on. Call that top one VS for source. And then between the resistor and the inductor, we'll call that VL for the voltage across the inductor. We also want to know what VR is, but we don't, we can't just put a VR label in because it's the voltage across VR is VS minus VL. Now the dot print directive. And I want to know the VS voltage. I want to know the VL voltage. And I want to know the difference between VS and VL. I also want to know the current. I'm just going to say the current through the resistor because it's the same as the current through the other components in the circuit. And now run the simulation. And look what pops up. There's my source voltage, 10 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees. My inductor voltage, 6.01956 volts with a phase of 52.9747 degrees. And finally, the current through the resistor, which is the same as all the other currents of 1.59674 with a phase angle of negative 37 degrees. You'll note that I didn't get everything I wanted. It didn't tell me the voltage difference between the source voltage and the inductor voltage. So I need to do something special to get that value. And to do that, I am going to change the type of AC sweep. Because there was only a single point, all that popped up was that text window. But if I go in and change this, to be, let's say, 10 points. That value, as long as it's greater than one, doesn't really matter, and sweep from 60 to 600. And now go and run it. A window popped up here, and what I can do is, well, I can look at the source voltage, and it's constant, as you would expect, because it's not going to change over frequency, because it's just being driven by that source. What I want is to add a trace and what I want to add is the voltage difference between the source voltage and the inductor voltage. And you can see it changes over time, or not over time, this is changes over frequencies. That's okay, I only want the one frequency though. So to get that one frequency, if I click on here, then I get the cursors, and I can drag the cursors all the way over to 60 hertz. And now looking at the display here, we can see the magnitude of the voltage across the resistor at 60 hertz is 18.044077 dB. That's actually dBV, and so we can do a conversion just a sec to what that value actually is, with a phase angle of negative 37.010137. Okay, to figure out what 18.044077 dB, and actually remember this is not just dB, this is dBV, we can go back to the definition for what the decibel is. Because we're dealing with a magnitude decibel, it's 20 log the voltage. And when we're dealing with dBV, it's actually the voltage divided by one volt, but we can ignore the one volt part. So to figure out what the value in volts actually is, we divide both sides of the expression by 20, and then take 10 to the power of both sides of the expression. And then what we'll be left with is voltage equals 
10 to the 18.044, etc., over 20. And that works out to 7.98369 volts. So from that simulation, we get a source voltage of 10 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees. Well, that's actually just the defined value. We have a voltage across the resistor of 7.98369 volts with a phase angle of negative 37.0101 degrees. Voltage across the inductor of 6.01956 with a phase angle of 52.9747 degrees. And finally, a current through each one of the devices because it's just a series circuit of 1.59674 amps with a phase angle of negative 37.0101 degrees. That phase angle matches the phase angle of the voltage across the resistor as you would expect because there is no phase shift between voltage and current in a resistor. And as I mentioned earlier, remember I also made a video of solving this example by hand and you can check that out here or find the link in the description. Also, as I mentioned earlier, this example comes from an online open source textbook and you can find a link to that textbook in the description too. On that site, you can find more examples and videos like this one, as well as a bunch more lessons on all sorts of topics related to electrical and electronic circuits. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.